Hello everybody, this is Jared the Geek, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use some cool shooting modes on the Canon PowerShot SX510 HS. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do to access these cool modes is switch to the SCN or Scene Mode using the Mode Selector on the top of the camera. The next thing you're going to do is press the Function Set button then press the scroll wheel to the right. Here you can go through the various shooting modes. There's high speed burst, low light, snow, fireworks, face self timer, and portrait. First, we'll look at self timer. Just press the function set button to select the mode. Press the display button to choose how many pictures will be taken, using the scroll wheel button to select. I'm going to select four shots here. Press display again to exit. To begin, press the shutter button just as if you were taking a regular picture. You'll hear the camera beeping and the light in the front will start flashing. When it detects face in the frame, it will take the number of pictures you selected. This mode is great for setting the camera down and then getting into the shot, because you don't have to worry about the camera shooting before you are ready. The next mode is low light mode. It allows you to take decent pics even when the area is dimly lit. As you can see here, it is able to zoom in and focus and take a pretty good shot, even though the lighting conditions were not perfect. Probably the coolest mode is high speed burst mode. This allows you to take awesome action shots of moving objects. To begin, simply hold down the shutter button for as long as you want. You'll hear the camera rapidly shooting, and when you're done, you have some super cool action shots. There are also portrait, snow, and fireworks modes. These allow you to get the best shots for the respective subjects, and are quite handy to have. But wait, there's more! To access even more shooting modes, go to the filters mode on the selector reel. It's the one with the two circles. Once again, press the function set button, and then the right button on the selector reel. Here, you'll see a variety of fun modes. We'll start with the fisheye effect. This gives the classic bulge effect of a fisheye lens. Press the display button to select the intensity of the effect, high, medium, or low. And yes, I know, I look absolutely ridiculous. Next is the miniature effect. This blurs the top and bottom of the picture, which makes larger objects look like tiny objects. Press the display button to adjust this effect to just how you want it. You can move the focus range up and down using the scroll wheel button. Change the focus range's orientation with the function set button. You can select how big the range is using the zoom toggle. You can also press the menu button to adjust the playback speed of videos that are recorded in this mode. You can choose 5 times, 10 times, or 20 times. Another cool mode is the toy camera filter. This kind of darkens the edges of the pictures to make everything look like it was taken like it, with a cheap toy camera. We also have a classic monochrome effect, which is a black and white filter. You can also use the display button, like with most other modes, to adjust things. Here, you can adjust the filter to blue or sepia. Super Vivid mode makes colors extremely bright and also makes pictures pop. It gives an exaggerated sense of color and looks pretty cool with these bright plants, as you can see here. And lastly, we have Poster mode, which makes pics look like old posters. It has a very dramatic effect. One final mode I want to highlight is Discrete mode. This allows you to take pictures with no sounds or flashes from the camera. Even when you turn the camera on, the startup chime is disabled. If you view videos or scroll through pictures, there are no beeps as you press buttons. And even in the dark room, the flash will not activate. This is great for shooting wildlife, or if you're at a performance or something of that nature, as it allows you to record video or shoot pictures without disturbing anything around you. So that's it for this video. I hope you were able to use these cool shooting modes as you shoot with your SX510HS. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe by hitting the annotation at the end of the video if you're on the desktop site, or if you're on mobile, click that link down in that description. Again, thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel. God bless, and have an awesome rest of your day.